Hey guys, we are back for another episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now, this is going to get a little interesting because I currently have a cat in my lap. And his head is draped over my wrist. Which makes it a little more interesting to play this game. So hopefully he doesn't bug anything out here. <laughs> this is episode 42. And we're in Chinatown. Now we met with um, with Yuki, I want to say. I can't even find the... There it is. Um, his, his body's in the way of my keyboard. I can't even push buttons. Now we found this Yuki gone fishing. Um, I was thinking about it, and it's probably something to do with the um, the seafood place over there in the corner. So I might go check that place out shortly. Um, but I'm right here, and when I was editing the video, I realized this was actually one of my side quest locations. So we're gonna pop in here and see what's going on. Okay. What is going on? A lot of people singing enchanting and everything else. Oh, there's a cap on my space bar. There we go. Nothing here of interest. Okay. Let's go inside here. Hello. you welcome kindred and thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain <clears throat> yeah. I am Ming Zhao high priestess to the people of Chinatown can I get you anything tea perhaps I'd rather learn a little bit about your people we are called the Kui Jin though you may know us as Eastern vampires it is a grave misnomer I can assure you right okay are you the leader of these, Kuei In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Canite language. Ha. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Choice four is hilarious. Uh, let's avoid that, though. Are you descended from Cain? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Canite bloodline. Ooh, we're getting some lore, guys. Lore dump incoming, I hope, please. But you are a vampire. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. You know, that's actually a very good point. I'm, I'm trying to look for them. I don't see any vampire teeth. Um, second breath? The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. Interesting, interesting. Wow, everything here is rude except for me going, I'm confused. Hang on a second, I thought you could do everything we can do. But we are similar. We share superficial similarities. Kuei feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. Oh. So, drinking blood is uh, less of a problem for you. That's interesting. Um... So as a mortal, you can choose to become supernatural? Oh, that sounds kind of weird. 
How else are we similar? Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. Interesting. They're like fruit. Left out in the sun, they'll... They'll... Yeah. Huh. So as a mortal, you can choose to become supernatural? No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. Interesting. This is almost um, a bit... Uh, Buddhist in, in, in their becoming what they are, the, the Quijin. So why are some chosen to become supernatural? The reasons are as numerous as the Quijin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. That is a very long time. Um, it sounds as much of a curse as the embrace of Cain. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Okay. Huh. I really like this. This is very interesting. Um... Speaking of legends, have you heard of the Ankaran sarcophagus? Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers <laughs> and his evil apocalyptic plot. Uh-huh. I think you don't believe in that. Kuei Jin do not share your history, nor do we share in your false prophecies. Nice. Yes, it all does seem rather silly, doesn't it? <laughs> it all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. Mm. Mm. Do you know the true history of the kindred? No, I do not. But with my help, you might find the path you were meant for. Instead, you stumble through the afterlife, a meaty remnant still clinging to the mortal rib. Mm. This cat is going to become a problem. I feel bad for moving him, but... Uh, um, do you know where the sarcophagus is? We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Why would you just tell me that? Uh, who are you, these agents? Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. Okay. What can I help you with? How about the Quajin? There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. Um, society? Yes. Your condition doesn't sound very different from our On own. the contrary. It is another chance for us to find up. Right, we've seen this already. Um, of course. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know where it is? We seek it, of course. Blah, 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 blah. More what questions. What can I... Okay. Uh, do you know of a Henge Yokai in Chinatown? Ah, yes, the Henge Yokai. Zigena, I believe his name was. I had nearly forgotten him. Zigena, okay. Come on, kitty, I'm sorry. I, I need to move you. You're a good boy. I need you to move. You're posing a problem. You are. Come on. Come on, Jinpei. Let's get out of my lap. Come on. Get down. Oh, he doesn't want to get down. I feel so bad. Ah, oh, the curse of having cats. Okay, well, a cat. We have one cat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. 
I'm sorry. No. He's gonna go soak now. I basically had to dump him out of my lap. Uh, okay. Then you know him? He announced his presence in our domain, and I granted him permission to operate. He does not act on my behalf, however, I can assure you. Okay, but you don't stop him from operating. Uh, where can I find him? I believe he said he operates an importing business and entertains clients at the Red Dragon. The Red Dragon. Okay. I have a few more questions. What can I help you with? I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Okay. We could go. We could try to OJ this. Um, do you have any idea where he could be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. And who is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon Restaurant. Ah. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. Well, there's a couple things I need to go to then. I'll head down to the Red Dragon. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin Domain. For now, may you find your path, Kindred. Thanks. Well, she was interesting. Right. And then... Right. Welcome back, Kindred. Do you seek guidance? Okay. Interesting. Well, I learned quite a bit there. That's pretty cool. So, it's very interesting um, what she said about her people. Oh, gosh. Hey, what are you doing? And I'm saving, I guess. Okay, good. I was going to say, it's either that or I just crashed. Okay. Ah. Uh... Should I check? Um, I want to check, but I okay, can't go that way. Alright, well, uh, I think the game just pointed me in the direction I need to go. What is this? Where did you go? Well, Frick, where did you go? Okay, guys, you ran off with everything, but, uh, okay, all right, well, it showed me a thing happening. I guess I need to look around a little bit more. Hello. Kanbanwa, demon. <laughs> About the hanging yokai. Dogoreska. Where? Oh, apparently I'm still looking. Okay. Well, never mind. Is there anything else you can say? Demon. Good evening to you too. Nani. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Excuse me? No. So I've been there, I've been there, okay. So I guess we'll just continue with our systematic gism <laughs> Systematicism? I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Alright, let's go inside here. I have no idea where this is. It's pretty. Bargain books for sale. Asian hearts. Okay. Some cool stuff here. Hello. There is something in this store for everybody. Oh, he has heterochromia. 
Can you see his eyes? That's cool. All right. Uh, yeah. Everyone gets what they deserve. Oh, and what do I deserve? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh-huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? He died. <clears throat> I don't know. Dead? Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Um. Okay. People get what they deserve. Um, did he already get what he deserved? Is that what you're saying? I'm trying to go with the, the, the hypotheticals here. The the moral of the story that's happening. Um, is there a point to this? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Oh, I have eyes on my person right now. Eye harvest? Lin's body is being kept in the freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely. If they were to wander in, I gouge hell, a fitting punishment for Lin. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the, uh, uh. Oh, look at all this. I love the I love all my options here. Eyes. Never stole eyes before. Always a first time. <laughs> oh, this game has a lot of fun dialogue. Eyes. I happen to have some here. Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task, if it piques your curiosity. Uh, as long as it doesn't involve eyes or any other body parts, I'm interested. Heart of Eliza. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? Oh gosh, no, why don't you tell me? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. <laughs> That's all? Okay, I'll do it. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant it to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> okay. I'm quite concerned that I have this. Did, did he just give me bad luck? Like, oh, that's kind of cool looking. 
appears to have a liquid core. The stone itself is much translucent, rock solid, unlike anything you've seen. Possession of the heart of Eliza conveys a melee bonus of one. Nice. There it is. Where's my melee? Melee! Up to eight. Dang. Okay. Thirty six and forty. Yeah, geez. You're a strange one. You know that, right? You are always welcome here. Well, that's good. What the talisman? Did the seed take root? Uh, not yet. Okay. I just have a really bad feeling that I'm going to have my own bad luck on the way. Uh, not a big fan of having a bad luck talisman on me. Game saved. Okay, good. Um. To 17. I, I need to be able to tell what the heck this is. So let's see here. Um, intelligence. Accept. Still don't think I have a high enough. I need 8 for that. I need 8 for the book, too, don't I? Yeah. Alright, we'll have to get some more experience points and then do more research. Express. Hmm. It's not my problem. It's a problem that it's not your problem. Can I go in this way? Nope. Okay. Well, how do I get in there? I guess I could potentially... Get in there using the sewers? Uh, uh, at least the sewers look different too. That's a little more interesting. Okay, let's see here. Lowest blossom is nine, so I want to go. Goodness. And then hang a left. Okay. Straight back. Right. Okay. So, probably here? Probably? Do 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 do. -do. All right. I'm just gonna take this. Am I in the right place? Where am I? Hello. Hi. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Oh my goodness. Okay. You don't seem like the type to sell herbal remedies. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies forces to help aging parents <laughs> with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, come on. I know you were in the military. <coughs> know anything about guns? Chinese invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. <laughs> Got any? Hold on, please. 
These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. Okay. Uh, a lot of sick people in the city. I may need a few. What do we got here? Uzi, Colt, Anaconda. Jeez. Shingunto, we know that's not good. A pyro crossbow. Oh gosh. Okay. Wow, range combat of eight requirement. Ooh, what's this? Heavy leather. Okay, sure, let's buy it. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. We're probably going to sell that too. Alright, anything else I can sell? No. Not much else to sell here. Uh, I actually don't have much left anymore. I guess I could sell this. Yeah, because I have that already. Oh, jeez, I forgot about the freaking chalice. Jeez, okay. Um. Yeah, I don't really want any of this. It's cool, I guess, but... I mean, the oh, cold anaconda is amazing. Base damage to three, base damage to two... Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So I should really just go ahead and use this. Yeah, nice. Where did I end up? <laughs> I don't know where I am. Yo. Oh. Well, that's the red dragon. Hey, that I end up. Oh. What in the world is that sound? Everything in Chinatown is weird. All right, let's go back through here. Um, was there something on the other side here that allows me to get in? Let's see. Nope. Well, how the bloody heck do I get in there? Do I need to get in there from another way? Okay. Yeah, I can't get in there right now. Alright, well, I guess I gotta come in another time. Let me stop in here and see if uh, she needs to know the updated information or if I'm going to go investigate this myself. Hello. Kanbanwa. Demon. Dogoreska. Where? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm still confirming everything. <sighs> I don't know Chinese lettering. So I don't know what this is. Apparently it's not anything I could go into. Anyway, so that works out. Okay. What is this? Right, the red dragon. This is just Chinatown. Okay, have I have I now been everywhere? I feel like I may have been everywhere now. Okay, let's save. Because things might get awful. Oh, how did I get Fortitude up? Let's go back to presents. Here we are. Hmm. Hello. Nine lives again? Yep. Hi! Wait, what does that do? Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago. 
But our lounge is still open. Oh, neat. Um, I'm here to see Wang Ho, Ming Xiao sent me. I'll get the elevator. Thank you. Second floor, have a good night. Oh. Well then. Hello. 500 up front, another 500 after the deal. No questions asked or I walk. It's a bit much to ask for some info, don't you think? My pardons, you looked like someone who might have some interest in my product. Actually, you'd be surprised at the variety of people who fit that profile. Oh, okay. What else do you sell? Let's just discuss your business, shall we? Okay, are you Zygena? No, and I would rather you did not suggest such a thing. He is a business associate, not one I enjoy dealing with either. Hmm, interesting. No. Anyone else? This would not be an issue, but him? No, I'm sorry, you're going to have to ask somebody else. Oh, okay. Um, don't worry, he won't be coming after you or anyone once he's found. Oh, you plan to kill him? Kill? No, I just want to talk. Talk? I don't know. He is a somewhat paranoid man. I'm afraid if you were to try anything, I will be punished. Oh, okay. You've got my word, we're just going to talk to him. We? Oui. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, we always refer to ourselves in plural. We're sorry. If you want to talk to him, I'll set up a meeting. Come to the fish market tonight. You and him can talk. He's a dangerous man. Do conduct yourself appropriately. Thanks. I'll be on my best behavior. See you. Okay. Yeah. Who are you? Sorry. Zhu Fang no speak English. When he drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Okay. Bartender. Oh, okay. Yeah? Hello, brother. Want to get some man-on-man -man action? Yeah. I love the strong silent types. Come here. Wow. Nice. Well, then. Got something for everybody here, I think. Uh, yes. Hey, who wants a body massage? I'd let you down easy, but you're probably used to rejection by now. Oh, so I actually have to s seduce her. All right. Can I talky talk to you? Oh, apparently not. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Didn't I? Sorry. Zoof. Okay. Well, we gotta get you sobered up then. Oh, look at the pretty fishies. Fishies, fishies, fishies. Okay. Well, I think this is the part where we... Can I... There it is! So which way do I go? Do I go up? Hello? No, I'm still at work. I don't know. Why would I want to rush home right away? Not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, hold on, Anthea. I've got another call. Hey, Serena. Did you hear about Joe? And yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know. I was just on the phone with Anthea, and I was all, no, he's not. Yes, he is. But what if he's not? And why was that necessary? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's go investigate here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Hello. Hello, vampires. 
there are no vampires here. There's a major lack of vampire. Hi! A throwing star? Well, that was fancy. Wonder what I would use a throwing star for. Actually, what would I use a throwing star for? When you wish upon a throwing star, you wish you had the skill to use a bloody thing. That's not how this song goes, stupid. Anyway. Yeah, I wish I did have the skill to use a stupid thing. Where is everybody? There you are. They took her. They took her. Oh no. What? Who? Who? Who took her? Who did they take? Kiki, my daughter. Yeah. They grabbed her. Okay. They called and said, Wong Ho has meddled with Tong for the last time. Oh gosh, the Yakuza, isn't it? Um, uh, this may not be the best time, but Ming Zhao sent me to talk with you. Ming Zhao? Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. Okay. I am Wang Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. No, no, it's okay. Um, so what's going on here, Wang Ho? The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. The Tong grow more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. Yeah. Why would the Tong want your daughter? I am a man of some prominence here in Chinatown. I have many allies, but there are also many who would like to see my demise. The Tong have chosen the coward's path, using my daughter as leverage against me. Oh. Leverage for what? I do not know. I will undoubtedly hear from the Tong very shortly. They will have demands, and then perhaps we will know more. Oh. Do you know where they took your daughter? No. The Tong have many... Uh, wait. Please excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Of course. I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes, of course. Goodbye. That didn't sound like the Tong. That was someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the Tong are keeping my daughter. Okay. Just tell me where and someone better call the coroner. Kiki is being held at the Lotus Oh, thank Blossom. goodness. A massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Well, that's good news. Uh, of course, I'll bring her back safely. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The Tong will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. And good luck to you. All right. Well, that was, uh, that is always a thing. There's always something else to do, isn't there? Hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, next time we will head on over to, uh, well, to uh, Yuki and see how I can help her with her problem. And then uh, we'll be following up with Wong Ho's daughter, Kiki. Um, which will also allow me to do the Bad Luck Farmer quest, which is good. Yeah, this. Man, this is a really, really long quest chain. <laughs> oh, I got some experience for that, too. Do they have enough for, um, no. Okay, well, that is that. Hope you guys are having a great day. Take care, 
and I will catch you in the next video.